Well, yep. Oh, that's my own teammate. Okay, hold on. So, yep, I got some... I got a story. I got a bit of a story. Hold on. So I got so I got a bit of a story, and you'll see why I'm playing Pixel Gun here in a moment because it is kind of relevant to the story. I mean, it is relevant, but it like doesn't really doesn't really matter. But it is relevant. Uh, damn, I didn't really think about how am I gonna focus. I can't even lock in. Oh damn, I can't even lock in. Hold on. I'm gonna try to keep it fairly raw, right? Because I want like a story time type thing, you know what I'm saying? But basically, put it bluntly, I had e-sex, right? And th this left this left the woman so scarred that she teared up and called our friend. She teared up and called our friend and started talking about like how good this other guy was. This like French guy or some something. Oh my god. And dude, it is, man, it is, oh man, it is so terrible. And, like, I wouldn't, I mean, I would have let it go, right? I mean, I should let it go, but, like, I feel like I kind of need to talk about it because it's something so, like, dude, it is just, like, so fucking depressing. Like, it is absolutely depressing what I had to fucking deal with. So, because basically, right, so boom. Hold on, where should I start? Where should I start? Could I, could I just start at the incident itself? So basically, there's this friend group of us, right? Uh, so it's me, our friend, and her. And basically, she is very open about talking about shit to him. And like not to me because I make her uncomfortable. I'll get I'll explain a little later because I found that out why she was so uncomfortable about talking to me later. So GG. So not so the depression is crazy. So basically, so boom, we do our thing, right? Boom, e sex happen. Okay, wait a minute. Hold on. Before I even do that, wait a minute. I should elaborate because because. I don't even know why, like, I don't even know what happened as to why we even, like, started doing anything, right? Because it was, like, I, dude, I wasn't, like, I wasn't feeling it. Like, I was not feeling it at all. I was, like, more focused. Okay, this is where the pixel gun comes into play because we did it while playing pixel gun, okay? Whoa, 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 I know that sounds silly, but... It's because we were playing Pixel Gun, and then all of a sudden, things started happening. I don't know. Like, honestly, like I said, I wasn't even horny at all. But what else, what else can I say? Uh, what else happened? It was, I literally stayed up all night. I, I literally got zero sleep that night because I was staying up talking to her. And then, what, and then literally like an hour, not even an hour before I had to go into work, things started happening. So I was kind of like half panicking. I was just kind of just fucking going for I was just like, whatever, like, whatever. Like I wasn't even locked in at all. I was like, oh shit, there's a, there's an enemy. There's an enemy combatant. I had to hit the jinx. Oh, enemy combatant. So it was really awkward, right? Come to find out. Come to find out. Uh, a little bit later because apparently after that incident like literally probably not even a full day after that incident probably like six hours we our friend group calls it the pixel gun incident because we all know about it uh obviously because she fucking told them everything but you know what i but what what was i gonna say shit i lost i completely lost track basically so it come to find out, here we go, six hours, maybe, I don't even think it's been 12 hours after the incident, it might have been right after the incident, to be honest, she calls him and starts talking about how terribly it went, how bad it was, and how fucking sucky, which, don't get me wrong, right, I very much underperformed, I'm a, I'm a loser, right, like, I, I admit that, but that's something that should have been talked about with me, right? That, in my eyes, 
that should have you should have just came to me just been like hey dude you fucking suck like straight up but i don't know i don't know what's going on i don't know what what went what went through her head but so basically right why am i getting messages so basically right where, where was i in the story okay yeah and then she started talking about right okay hold on let me reiterate if i can remember so she went talk to him talk to our friend our friend so he, he damn this is so fucked so basically she told him like how bad i was how i literally didn't say shit dude because i wasn't even locked in i didn't even know what was going on like i wasn't even into it whatsoever like i was just i was fucking around honestly like i wasn't taking it seriously at all and i guess she was taking it extremely seriously my mistake but sh she said like oh he was hyping it up he was hyping it up a lot and I th the only thing in my mind I can refer to as the, why, I don't know why I'm even explaining because I should be talking about the story, but I'm just trying to talk about like what I'm thinking in my head, right? So in my head, what I'm is what I'm thinking. She's thinking is like we we like any like I don't even like we had like sexual conversations, right? But like in my mind, they're just conversations. Like in my like I can talk about sexual stuff and I don't get like horny or anything. Like I don't care. So, like, maybe she interpreted it that as, I don't know. I'm trying to think about what specifically had happened, but I just pretty sure we were just, like, we were talking about, like, I was, like, talking about fucking how good I would be in sex because I was just kind of fucking joking around, hyping myself up, right? And I guess she interpreted that as flirting, but in my mind, that was just me fucking around and, like, uh, conversating, at least that's what I think. I don't know. That's irrelevant to the story. I'm blabbing on. Rewind. Rewind. So, anyways, to continue what she was saying to our friend in this group. So, she also mentioned... This is the worst part, right? This is like... This is what made me depressed. It's one thing to just say I underperformed because I can self-report. I very much... That was it, was... it was horrible. But, like she talked she said she, she s talked about this french guy she had e-sex with and like talked about how good he was i don't know how big into detail it went hold on let me kill this guy yeah you're a loser so he, he, she, i don't know how, if she went into detail or not because all my friend told me was like uh yeah she started talking about this french dude and like how good the e-sex was and like about how she, he was like telling her what to do and stuff and then that shit just broke me like literally that like literally as soon as i heard that that shit like made me depressed like i don't even know like at this point i should have clocked out i did my time i should have just clocked out for the day like i shouldn't have even continued that relationship at this point like at this point it was done dusted but instead it prolonged for another fucking probably two months like at this point i should have just stopped talking like it was over like because even even if it wasn't a big deal because later i found out it's like oh not a big deal like because we talked about the pixel gun incident because i was because like here's what happened right because i was trying to overcompensate so i was like getting really like fucking like i don't think i was getting really flirty but i was getting a little more pushy and i was like more trying to force her to fucking open up to me and like talk about things because i knew all these secrets but she didn't know that i knew all these secrets so i'm trying to get her to reveal her secrets so that i can fucking talk about them freely so basically that's what had happened right and then where was it damn i keep backtracking hold on so basically i'm depressed as fuck right so i'm like depressed as fuck the entire two months the entire fucking rest of the time talking to her to be honest like i can't get the french guy out of my head like i, I that shit still like i'll probably have ptsd honestly like i'll fucking hear about that like i'll th like i'll think i think about e-sex i just think about a french guy fucking her like i mean like or not fucking her but like whatever phone sex i guess i don't know i don't know what happened I don't know the full kabish. But anyways, so blah, blah, blah. 
this is Avenge. This is a completely irrelevant to the story, so I shouldn't even say it. But I mean, at this point, the French, the friend circle's done and dusted. We've all gone our own separate ways at this point. So this is kind of just my story to tell at this point. Fucking. So basically, like maybe a couple weeks after, after the the pixel gun incident, what our friend group refers to it as, right? She fucking it's like she's I'm in a group call with three of them, right? With all three or all three of us. So fucking she starts talking about like, oh, you remember that French guy talking to my friend? It's like, oh, remember that French guy I was talking about? Oh, yeah, I sent him this meme in French that says like poop on him or something like that. Or like if you like if you read this, I hate you and I'm poop on you or something, something goofy. I'm interpreting it as a joke. That's not a big deal, but it kind of fucked with me a little bit because in my mind, I'm at, at least at that time, I'm like, why the fuck are you even? If this guy was just a one night stand thing, and like, you know what I mean? Like, why are you even? Why do you even talking to this guy anymore? Like, why are you even sending him anything? Why? Like, you should never. Like, when you stop talking to someone, don't ever fucking talk about him again. Don't bring it. Don't send him a message out of the blue of anything in my mind especially when you're talking to someone i don't know but at this point oh shit i didn't even elaborate because it gets it gets super confusing it, this is so much so much happened i still can't even fucking wrap my head around it but like so basically we were in a relationship right for like mm, probably less than a month and then she broke up with me right so this all this everything that i just previously happened in between this fucking weird shape fucking hexagon of like time where we weren't dating but we were like flirty like kind of in a weird situationship i don't even know what you want to call it but like in this weird little blocky period right i don't know what the fuck's happening i'm just interpreting everything like i started like i started taking her seriously like in the beginning part i was like oh whatever like maybe she still does like nope and then at a certain point i, I don't know exactly i don't think it is not even relevant but then i just started taking everything as a joke right like like everything she said was a joke in my eyes and i just started taking her so unseriously and i don't know what happened but basically we started getting flirty again and that's when the pixel gun incident happened okay that's enough context i think there Yes, I know the story jumps around a lot. I'm not a good storyteller, especially because of how complex this f fucking situation is. I mean, it's not the, it's not really like that, that complex. I'm just a little bit retarded. So, I mean, that doesn't help. Anyways, I think that's the main points, right? I mean, at that point, like after hearing about the French guy, I literally was not the same. Like, ever since hearing about the French guy, that the shit was just not the same. I literally just, like, I, I did, like, I stopped feeling like she cared about me. Because, like, why would you ever, like, fucking go? But see, like, the, see, the reason why I prolonged it, right, was because I was like, okay, we weren't, we're not really dating. It was just kind of a fucking weird thing that happened. And she said it's not a big deal, right? But, like, in my eyes, you literally called you called our friend fucking complaining oh my god so it, i don't know it's so messy it was so messy i mean i'm kind of glad it's over like it is what it is like i'll just do better next time but like fuck that shit is like mad depressing like she wow you know what i mean fuck but basically the relationship was like it was like i think that was like the climax and like everything else that occurred after was just the falling action everything was just done and dusted because i was trying super hard to like fucking compete with the french guy because i was like i felt like i was in a competition with him at this point i was so i was like getting really like fucking like trying to speed run uh the relationship i was trying to like speed run it i'm like trying to fucking get her to open up to me spam fucking talk to me let, let out her secrets so i was like speed running but it was just making her pull away more and more and the shit just got awkward so then at some point i retracted i'm like whatever let you do your thing it, and then she opened up a little bit more again and then fucking oh oh boogers it's a whole pickle it really is but none of that's even relevant 
I just wanted to like really like tell the story about the pixel gun incident because I feel like the pixel gun incident is so relevant and it is like so ingrained into my fucking head at this point. It straight up changed me as a person, especially sexually, I think. Like a dude, like that shit is like, dude, my self-confidence is completely shot. I mean, not like I really had much to begin with, right? Like I'm a turbo virgin, right? I play video games and work in a fucking grocery store. You know what I mean? Watch my language. So it was pretty messed up. Like, I mean, it was terrible what happened to me. She, damn. Man. So, man. So, yeah. It was pretty fucked. It was really fucked. Because it's like, just see, because it's like, I didn't want to reveal any secret that I knew any secrets because I knew it would completely tear apart the friend group, right? Because she would have fucking, she would have, she would have had a fucking, like, she would have freaked out at everyone. That, that friend group would have dissipated immediately as soon as I dropped that I knew everything, that I knew everything that she said, or at least most things. Is that Hitler? What is going on? I just killed Hitler. But, yeah. It it was a pickle. Yeah, it's a real mess. I mean, like, I look at it, I'm like, I, I'm glad it happened in a way. Like, like, I'm glad it happened because it's like, now, next time, I'll do better, right? And, it's, like, I can kind of move on from it. But, man, it is, it is so fucked. Like, it's going to be a little bit, like... Like if I ever get into another relationship, I'll probably think about it. I'll, like it, that's why I was so insecure because I was so insecure in that relationship because I hear all those fucking things, and that's not the first time I've the friend has like revealed shit she said about me. Like oh my god, she always she, like fucking on multiple occasions, probably not a lot, but like two or three occasions, she went behind my back and just started talking shit. Or I don't even know if it was shit necessary. I don't know. It was just talking talking about our relationship problems, basically, to our friend. And then he just straight up told me everything because... And the reason, he's a real home dog, actually. I really respect him. Hopefully he doesn't fucking hate that I'm dropping this bomb because I don't know if he still talks to that girl. But I just... Like, this, shit, this is just some shit I need to get out, though. But he's a real homie. He's a real one till the very end. I respect him big time for telling me everything. But I should like the first thing I heard, I should have clocked out. I really should have clocked out as soon as I heard the French guy because it's like, okay, now she's thinking about other people. Like, that's what I'm thinking literally the entire rest of the relationship. I'm just like, oh, she's thinking about other people. Like, it is what it is. Like, it's, it was complete toast. I don't know why I tried to salvage it because I was like, oh, people can change. People can change. It is, it's okay. I can win her over. No. Just trying trying to overcompensate and win her over just did nothing but fucking push her away even more. So, I learned a lot of lessons. I learned a lot of lessons about relationships, I think. I think it's made me a better person. And let's say the bulk and the streams will be crazy, right? Yeah, I mean, that's my that's the Pixel Gun Incident story. Yeah, it was, it's pretty fucking evil. I mean, a lot of it wasn't even Pixel Gun related. I mean, if it... I'm I'm blabbing. I'm really am blabbing a lot. But yeah, man. Like I just got to sit here and think about it cuz it was just it's just because we even had like talks about like because I straight up told her like I'm fucking depressed, dude. Because but I didn't want to tell her the real reason why I was depressed, so I had to kind of make some bullshit up. I was like, "Oh, I'm just I don't know, after the pixel gun incident performance, I'm not really comfortable like fucking doing any like romance with you because i don't think i can perform very well that was the bullshit the real shit was that i knew about everything she said about me behind my back and it fucking completely like just destroyed me in from the inside that's why i was depressed but i couldn't tell her that because i didn't want the friend group to fall apart it is fucking terrible like imagine witnessing like your fucking like imagine going to war and like witnessing your fucking friend dying but you can't say anything because they'll kill you too i don't know that's not really a good comparison i don't know i tried to come up with something there but yeah that's my story i mean 
it's a pretty messy story hopefully people can actually follow along i'm a terrible storyteller but like it's so i'm a fucking mess of a person but it's like schizophrenic i mean it, i mean it suits my aesthetic right i mean i'm a pretty okay how is my shots missing there we go okay this guy really just rocket jumped on me but yeah that's my story i mean it is what it is everything's done and dusted i think the dust has settled until i probably just stirred shit up with this video but i just wanted to talk about it because it is so bad and then honestly i kind of want her to know that i know everything or at least know more than i let on that's why i was so fucked up in that relationship uh so that's my story i think that's about it oh and the only ooh, hold on a little bit of an announcement right i wanted to make this i also like i was already thinking about making like a discord announcement video so i just tying tying it in with this video the discord is up i have finally made the discord channel it will be up as soon as i post the video i think everything's settled i already have some viewers testing it i mean barely fucking talking all they did was join it and then just click on a few channels and call it a wrap not even talking in it but you know but yeah so discord will be up uh so please join it please uh another thing um, if any uh, baddies want to hit me up and fucking teach me how to have e-sex so that I can fuck like a French guy, uh, hit me up, right? Uh, definitely need the experience, obviously. Need to learn how to fucking dirty talk or something. I don't know. But what else can I say? What else was I going to say? Oh, shit. 2,000 views on a video? Oh my god, I, d I never thought I would even get that far. On a normal video, on a shorts, whatever. On a video, though? Oh my god. Oh, fuck. That's what I should have done. That's what I should have done during the e-sex. I should have went like, oh, fuck. Oh! I should have been like, oh! Sorry. Okay. Yep. Yeah, yeah, it's depressing. I'm honestly still affected by it. Like, let's be real. Like, I'm still affected by it. Like, in all honesty, that shit still fucks me up. I'm still thinking about that French guy. Like, I probably think about that French guy more than she thinks about him at this point. But it is what it is. I'll move on. Things come and go. Time passes. Hopefully I don't hear from her again. Because we'll see how this goes. How this video is received. But, GG. GG go next. Now we can play a little bit of Pixel Gun. Oh, I pre-fired. But yeah, it was so bad. It was so bad. It was I literally like I stayed up all night. Literally fucking not even an hour before work was things started happening. Shit started hitting the fan. I wasn't even horny like at all because I was just like I was more focused on Pixel Gun. I would even like stop mid stroke to like fucking play pi play pixel gun like it was just like i was just like so not locked in like i was not feeling it man like i i in my eyes dude i felt no build up honestly like i wasn't i didn't feel any build up that shit just kind of happened suddenly like i don't know what happened i don't know if some sort of like succubus charm like i don't know if she knows like fucking dick romancy or something and it like rose my dick from the dead or what but I was not feeling it, man. Like, I don't know why. I don't know why things happened the way they did. But what's done is done. It's a wrap. Hopefully, in the next relationship, there's not another pixel gun incident, right? Which I don't think there will be. I'm pretty sure I'm like, as long as I get a woman who's like more communicative and like doesn't talk shit behind my back so much, or like the shit I've had to hear behind my back, maybe if she would just tell me that to my face. It would probably be a little better, but yeah, yeah, man. GG, dude. I'm cooked. I'm a, I'm gonna be alone. I'm cooked. It's over for me.
Oh, and I gotta give props to the French guy too. I will. I will say, dude. Fucking hit me up, dude. Like if if you, like I don't like, you'll know. I'll I know I don't know who the French guy is at all. I had to hear all about him from my friend, not her. But French guy hit me up. Uh, teach me how to have e sex properly, right? Like, dude, honestly, fucking props to you for being so goaded at it that it completely warped, like, her mind and, like, what she expects from e-sex, right? So, hey, man, I give mad props to you, dog. You're a fucking, dude, you're a G. Nah, but really. All jokes aside, it's... I'm glad everything happened. I've learned my lessons. Next relationship will be better. Oh, damn, look at that. Ten kills and I'm barely even playing. All right, on that note, I think it's deuces time. And then I'm probably going to live stream after because, you know, fuck it, chocolate milk, you know. Uh, so hopefully the story was, like, somewhat, like, followable, you know. Like, hopefully you can, like, somewhat follow the story. I know it jumped around a lot. Maybe I'll try to make some cuts and, like, mix and match it. I don't know. Probably just cuts. I'm going to try to keep it, like, fairly raw. But yeah, I thought I'd just drop some real shit that happened. And I, it, it's so depressing. But, GG, we move on, we push forward. Adios, amigos. Uh, oh shit, check out my live streams, dude. I'm more of a live streamer than a YouTube video pe person. But more people are watching YouTube videos, dude. What the fuck? I mean, I know it is very well made. My editor is a very cool person. But, anyways. Adios. Check out my live streams. Adios, dude. See you later, alligator. Deuces. <laughs>